This is progress, people. Hello, everyone, and welcome back to my channel. I have been fiddling with the settings on my camera because I just feel like sometimes I get really unsatisfied with the way my videos are, and so I, like, I try to change it, but then I really have no idea what I'm doing, so I'm just like, hey, and then I don't know if it looks any different. So does this look any different than it normally does? I don't think it does, but it could. Um, anyways, that's not the point of today's video. Uh, I want to do a video kind of updating you guys on my fitness journey. I decided about a year ago, it wasn't really a decision, I just thought maybe I should start working out because I'm kind of crazy stressed. And one of the big things that I was told throughout school has been that exercise is a huge part of dealing with your stress. It's a really healthy way of dealing with anxiety, a lot of the things that we deal with, depression. So I thought, you know what, I'm gonna start exercising and so I got a gym membership. I started working out and I made a video on it last summer talking about what my exercises were, my weight, food, everything like that and I thought it's almost been a year, why don't I update you guys on how that journey is going, how I'm doing, am I still even working out, that sort of stuff. Um, I don't publicize so much like having this like gym side of me, like to me that isn't so important to me. Um, I think working out is really important but not not to the extent that other people feel like it is maybe, I guess is the best way to say it. Um, so that's kind of like the first thing I will talk about is priorities. I have in my head a series of priorities and they're like numbered, one to whatever. And on the top of that list is will always be forever my family, my boyfriend, friends, people. Because people, you know, they're number one there. And then number two, close second school, number three is probably work, and number four is probably gym. So if I am very busy, if I feel really stressed, I won't go to the gym. If I'm so overwhelmed with school, I won't go to the gym. Or if I'm having a family activity or something's going on, I won't go to the gym because being with my family is more important to me than working out, I guess. I like it, again, like I said, for the stress relief that I get from it. Have I noticed a difference in that sense? For sure. Uh, I feel like I have really learned how to deal with my stress a lot better. If you had asked me, last October, November, how I felt about stress, I would have said to you, I feel like I am literally dying. Uh, now I don't feel that way, so progress. Am I right, people? And I, I do attribute some of that to, first of all, like me just growing up and maturing, but also to working out. That's one of the big things that has changed. So yeah, so I definitely think that in those ways, exercising has definitely helped me. Do you notice I have red burn on my arm? I wrote down on my planner because I didn't want to forget anything. So the first thing I want to talk about was the priority part. Just how it's not my number one priority, it is important to me, but it's not something I'm going to like stop everything, ruin plans in order to go to the gym. No. If it fits in my schedule, if I, you know, feel like I can do it, then I go. The other part about that is motivation and I'm not going to lie to you guys, there have been times when I feel like so unmotivated to go. That's just human. Like we have other things that we'd rather be doing. Uh, that's just reality and there's so many other things and especially if you're a student like you're always thinking about you know instead of going to the gym I could be working on this or instead of going to the gym I could be doing this or you know what I mean but I feel like going to the gym makes me enjoy the things I do more and it makes me do better on the things that I'm doing for school a lot of the time taking that break and just like relaxing and not thinking about it so much is really important especially while studying for exams I have learned that lesson holy crap to step away I know it's hard I carry my cue cards with me everywhere when I'm studying for exams. It is a little bit obsessive and weird. Um, but that's one thing I've definitely realized and being motivated is not something that we have every day. I, sometimes I wake up and I'm like, I'm gonna go to the gym and then 10 o'clock rolls around and I'm like, I'm gonna lie in bed all day. The biggest thing for me is if I haven't gone a long time, I go. Just go walk into the gym because as soon as I'm in there and as soon as I've had one workout, I get motivated again. So I don't know if this is normal, but going to the gym motivates me to go to the gym. That doesn't make sense, but I'm pretty sure that's all I can say about that. I don't even know what I would say. Okay, yeah, that's it. That's all I have to say. You always see other people there that look really good, and you're just like, you know what, I, you know, I can work hard, and I want to do that too. Probably won't ever be, you know, have stick legs, but that's okay. You know, I'll go to, I'll do stuff. Yeah, I, I, I do get motivated by going to the gym and just feeling that, like, burn of exercise, but also seeing other people and being inspired by them and their stories and how, you know, yeah, I just think it's very inspiring. New workouts, I have been really focusing on the high knee because 
the hiney. Do you know what that is? That's, that's, I'm, I'm referring to my bum. I don't know if people still call it a hiney. I feel like that might just be me. I think it's really important to like focus on the things, first of all, that, that you don't like and focus on those to try to change them, but also focus on the things that you do like and try to better them and make them even better than you already think they are. I think my butt is pretty good, but there's always, there's always work that can be done there. And so I do a lot of squats, I do a lot of that, and I also have this like weird like obsession with maybe potentially having a six pack one day, which is not happening right now. I have like a four pack or like a two pack. That's something I do a lot of ab workouts, kind of the same. Like I have an arm day and a leg day and that's really how I divide it up. I do cardio both times. Arm day is my favorite. Leg day literally kills me every time. Um, but squats, they'll make them your friend, okay? They are amazing. And the other thing that I started doing too was when I feel like I don't wanna leave my house or I feel like really tired, I do an at-home workout and I did one the other day Holy cow, this girl's butt is amazing. Let's just talk about it for a second. Go watch it. I did this a couple days ago. That's actually why I have red burn. <laughs> Woo, that's fun. Literally, I think she's like a fitness model or something, but she looks amazing. And so I was doing this video and on YouTube, so it's free, nothing, like you don't have to pay or anything. Um, super amazing, and like I said, it's inspiring. She looks great. Uh, the video was freaking hard. I almost died, but you know what? I worked my ass off. Literally, I couldn't move the next day. My legs were so sore. Meals. Okay, my boyfriend has always been into fitness since we started dating, and he always tells me, like, I don't eat enough, and I don't eat enough protein, and I don't eat, like, enough in general. And I know bodybuilders and fitness models, like, eat, like, seven times a day or something like that. And I've kind of just modified that for myself. I'm not going to eat seven times a day. That's just, like, not realistic. I'm only hungry, like, once in a day, to be 100% honest with you guys. Um, I don't really get hungry um, especially in the mornings, like I force feed myself and everyone tells me that I should be more uh, aware of my meals and how much I eat because I should eat more. But I'm a night eater and I know it's probably like the worst time to eat a lot of food, but I like to have dinner and then have popcorn and then have wine gums and then have cookies and then have ice cream and then, and then I'm like, oh yeah, see I ate the same amount as you today, it's just I ate it all like after 8 p.m. So I've kind of been trying to scale back on that so much and also this thing that my dad was telling me about is you're supposed to eat all your food that you're going to consume in a day within 12 hours. So the time you eat breakfast to the time you go to bed, you should eat all the food within 12 hours and I think that's a really good rule of thumb and also drink lots of water, that's obvious. I try to drink water all the time. I try to have water with me like wherever I go and I'm becoming like my mom where I kind of get anxiety like a little anxious if I don't have water with me when I'm like out. I'm like oh my god I need to buy a water bottle but I've just been out for like three seconds so I always have water with me. I try to drink a lot. I know when you're working and stuff and even at school it can be hard to remember but having it with you and whenever someone says the word water I feel this like intense need to drink water. Is that normal? Probably not either. I think there's something wrong with me. I've just been trying to eat more protein for the the big thing and I don't eat carbs uh, except like I try to eat carbs once a day so um, I bought this new pasta that's made out of entirely out of lentils and it is like I think there's 21 grams of protein per serving it is amazing so that's kind of one of my favorite carbs right now but I don't limit myself like I said like yesterday I think I had like pancakes gluten-free bread like I had like potatoes, I had so many carbs yesterday, which isn't a big deal to me, but on a daily basis, like I don't, I never eat carbs for breakfast. I'm not a stickler, like on a day-to-day -day basis, yeah, I probably don't eat too many carbs, but if there's a, a situation that presents itself that's like, here, I only have carbs every, every, every meal, I'll take it and I will run with it. And that goes on to my weight. Uh, a lot of people think that when they start working out, they're going to lose weight, gain weight, I don't even know, but I have definitely gained weight because of working out. Uh, muscle is heavier than fat, therefore, I have gained probably, I don't know, not that much. When I started, it wasn't my goal. Like, I don't want to lose five pounds. I don't want to, you know, whatever. No, that wasn't really my goal. I just kind of wanted to have more of a well-rounded, healthy lifestyle because I eat really healthy for the most part. I just thought that exercising was like the final step into having just like a really balanced, healthy lifestyle. Well, I don't know if I've said this before, but I'm not a huge cardio person. The most I do cardio per gym visit is like half an hour because I really don't like it. I always do elliptical and then maybe some like fast walking on a really high incline on the treadmill. Um, but cardio is not something that I really like to do so I don't spend a lot of time doing it because I really don't, don't like it at all. And so for me, my main kind of time I spend at the gym is um, with free weights. If you have like lots of frustration and anger, pick up like a 15 pound weight and just like, like I don't know, just do your thing with it. I, it feels more free 
in a way, free weights, makes sense, feels more free and less like constricting than being on an elliptical or like a treadmill or using a machine. And I like that aspect of it for sure. But yeah, that's basically, that's basically everything. I think that I have to share with you. Let me make sure on my list. Main thing I'm working on right now is just relieving that stress, being healthy, toning my body. I think it's more important to think of yourself as a healthy person than a skinny person. I think that's really important and that's kind of what I've been working towards. I want to be, like I want to feel healthy inside, not just look like I don't eat. Because I do eat. I don't think I look like I don't eat, but. So that's basically everything. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Let me know down below if you guys like to work out. If you hate it, let me know. Um, what are your favorite healthy foods? What are your, your favorite snack that's healthy? Because you know I love food. I hope you guys enjoyed this and I will see you all soon. Bye.